Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hey, why did the girl run away with such fright? Because she is Goldilocks, Mintu. She is scared of these bears. But the bears meant no harm. Yes, but she doesn't know that. Come, let's see her story. Once there lived a happy family of bears. Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and the Baby Bear. One day, Mama Bear prepared some delicious banana porridge. It smells so yummy! It's delicious, but it's too hot. Let's take a stroll in the woods till the porridge cools down. So all three bears set out for a walk. Meanwhile, on the edge of the woods there lived a playful girl, Goldilocks, with her mother. Mama, can I go to pick some cherries? Hmm, okay, but be good. Don't stray far away in the woods, and don't walk into any stranger's house. Just be straight home. Okay, Mama. But soon Goldilocks forgot her mother's words and strayed into woods, and she lost her way. While searching her way back home, Goldilocks came across the bear's cottage and walked straight in, contrary to what her mother had told her. Hello? Anyone in? Hearing no response, Goldilocks walked straight into the kitchen. She was hungry and found the porridge on the table very tempting. Yummy! The porridge is so tasty! And she finished all of it from all three bowls. Later, she stepped into the living room. She saw three chairs put there. Goldilocks sat on Papa Bear's chair. No, it's too hard for me. Then she sat on Mama Bear's chair. No, it's too soft for me. And when she sat on Baby Bear's chair, Perfect! It's just fine! But as soon as she leaned on the chair, it broke! Oh no! Did I break the chair? There was little she could do about the broken chair. Then she walked into the bedroom. It's so cozy and warm in here! Instead of walking straight back home, she thought of resting for some time. I am so sleepy. She leapt on Papa Bear's bed. No, it's too hard for me. Then she tried Mama Bear's bed. No, it's too soft for me. And when she slept on Baby Bear's bed, perfect, it's just right. Soon, Goldilocks fell into a deep sleep. After some time, the bears were back home from their walk. Papa Bear smelt the air and said, Someone has been here and has eaten all our porridge. Baby Bear saw his empty bowl and broke into tears. <laughs> Mama, I want my porridge! As they checked the living room, Mama Bear sniffed the air and said, Someone has sat on our chairs. Baby Bear saw his broken chair, and he was all in tears. <laughs> it was my favorite chair! <laughs> Soon they checked their bedroom and they were surprised to see Goldilocks sleeping on their bed. <laughs> Mama, someone is sleeping on my bed! <laughs> the noise woke up Goldilocks, and she was shocked to see the bear standing in front of her. Frightened, she jumped out of the bed 
and ran out of the house as quickly as her legs could take her. Little did Goldilocks know that the bears meant no harm, and they just wanted to be friendly. Girl, wait! We mean no harm to you! But Goldilocks was far gone and was lucky to reach her home. She remembered her mom's words. Oh, Mama, I will remember my lesson. I will not stray away from the neighborhood. Goldilocks was lucky. The bears were friendly. Only in stories. But real bears are not friendly. They are wild. It's better if we listen to our parents. Of course. I will remember that. Ha ha ha.